Hi guys, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get whole on Android every day. Anyway, while I was unrooting my Galaxy Note 8, I thought I would redo the um, root guide since it's been updated to the Oreo. And there's actually really one small step that's changed, but I want to redo it in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. So if you do follow my tutorial, you'll be able to do it the first time. Um, that's one of the hard things about making tutorial. Little changes, if I just leave the video, put a fix, it's really gonna confuse um, people. So let's go ahead and root the Galaxy Note 8 if you're on the latest Android 8.0 Oreo. And if you have an Exynos version, you'll be able to root. Or there are a few Snapdragon versions that have unlocked bootloader. I think the Hong Kong version or something like that. Yeah, you can follow this root method and root your phone. Uh, let's go do this, baby. <laughs> All right, um, before we begin, go to About Phone and check out the model number. Make sure model number is supported. You can go ahead and check out um, my written tutorial page. It will list out all the model numbers. Now, this tutorial is only for the Exynos models. If you have US models, you can use SAM Fail. That's on XDA. I don't support it yet. Um, just because it has issues like losing, you know, battery capacity, you won't be able to, you won't be able to recharge your phone no more than 80%. But this root method, you don't have any problems like that. So make sure you check the model number. All right, guys, first thing you want to do is go into settings, go into about phone and go into software information and go ahead and hit the build number about five times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Tap the back button twice and you will see developer options. All right, click on that and make sure OEM unlock is checked on. All right, if you don't see this option and you just got the phone, you may have to wait seven days. Samsung has put a seven day lock. So after you sign in, it will take seven days. So if you've been using your phone at least seven days since you got it, you will see this option. If you don't see this option, obviously come back in a few days and you will see this option and make sure it's checked on, all right? Uh, once that's checked on, you're ready to go. Turn off any kind of like factory um, lock or any kind of lock you have on your phone because that might mess with it. Just turn off all the locks. You can leave your security on because we're gonna wipe your phone anyway. Um, also, you can use Smart Switch, which is uh, comes with your phone. Um, go ahead and go to Smart Switch. All right, this will allow you to back up all of your apps and app data, all right, um, using external storage, USB cable. Um, I like to use micro SD card, or you could also plug in a USB flash drive using an OTG adapter, which also comes with your phone. So back up everything using smart switch. This will allow you to restore all of your apps, app data, um, but rooting your phone will erase everything on your phone. Uh, once you have backed up everything, power off your phone. And we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, Bixby and the power. Uh, for about one, two, three. And this will give you a warning screen like here. You're gonna simply hit volume up, which will put you into downloading mode. This is called the Odin downloading mode. Go ahead and connect a USB Type-C cable from your Note 8 to your computer. All right guys, um, next you'll need to download a bunch of files. Um, go to galaxynote8root.com. Go to twerp recovery menu. This has all the files you need. And let me guide you through. Um, go ahead and download um, the first one here. And this is all the models supported. So SMN 950F, uh, SMN 950F slash DS, which is what I have, which is a dual SIM version, or if you have the Korean SMN 950N. All right, go ahead and click on the download link. Now, all the download link on my site um, is at the bottom. Don't click on the ads. Just go down here, wait five seconds. It'll say, click here to download, download, and that will download all the files. I've already downloaded this file, so I'm gonna cancel. Um, but go ahead and download that. You'll also need um, Windows USB drivers, all right? And also you need Odin. Also you need Magisk, all right? Right now I'm using v16.0. If there's a new version, I may update this uh, with a new version. You can use that. And also go ahead and grab RMM State Bypass and also grab Samsung Anti-Removal Tool. This is not optional. I just put that there, but um, you'll also need this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six files, all right? And once you have downloaded all those files, go ahead and double check you have all the files. Twerp, anti-removal tool, RM state bypass, Odin, and Magisk. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, there we go. So you need all six files here. All right, Twerp, Samsung anti-removal tool, Samsung USB driver, RM state bypass, Odin, and Magisk. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and double click on Odin blah blah dot zip, extract all files, extract it, 
and it will extract to a folder called odin3 underscore v3.13.1. Once in this folder, go ahead and double click on the odin exe program file. Go ahead and hit run and you will see the Odin program. If you have the proper drivers installed, you'll see a blue highlighted box like this. If you don't see this, go ahead and run, double click on the Samsung USB EXE program. This will install the proper drivers. Uh, once that's installed, unplug your USB, plug it back in, and you will see this blue highlighted box. All right, once you see this, you're ready to go. Next, you're gonna go ahead and hit AP, and you're gonna go ahead and choose twerp um, 3.1.1. blah blah dot tar. All right, this is very important. Don't hit start yet. Um, go ahead and be ready to hold down volume up, uh, the big speed and the power. Now, go ahead and hold down the volume up. All right, so you're already ready. All right, and as soon as you hit start, you're gonna hold down big speed key. And as soon as your screen goes off, you're gonna hold down the power button. Now you only get one chance to do this. If you mess up, you will have to wait seven days. You will all, you might also have to unroot your phone. It might end up in a boot loop. So just make sure you practice volume up, big speed, and the power. So I'm gonna hold down volume up, all right? I'm gonna hit start, I'm gonna hold down big speed, and I'm gonna wait for the screen to go off, and then I'm gonna hold down the power button and give it like one, two, three, let go of all the buttons, boom shakalaka you should be in torp recovery. All right, go ahead and choose keep read only, go into wipe and go to format data and say yes. And this will erase everything on your phone. At this point, you need to save something. You can go ahead and get out and start over, but this will erase everything on your phone. Um, this will format data. All right, you're gonna hit the home button, um, hit the reboot button and recovery, very important. And always do not install. It's a really annoying message for that. All right, this will reboot you back into Tor Recovery. Go ahead and choose Keep Read Only, and you'll notice that right now our phone is still encrypted, so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna go back to our computer, and you're gonna go ahead and copy over Samsung Anti-Removable Tool, RMM State Bypass, and Majisk. All right, these three files. Go ahead and right-click, copy, and go ahead and copy into your Note 8. Now, mine says S9 Plus because I installed a S9 Plus ROM and it sort of changed the name of it, but that's actually my Note 8. All right, once that's done, you don't need the cable anymore. We can do everything on the phone. Um, go into install. You're gonna choose Samsung Anti-Removal Tool and go ahead and flash. This is also the no DM No Verify. This will um, decrypt your phone. All right, this is why we need to flash this first. And that's what was missing with my initial tutorial and that's why I'm making it again. Um, after that, hit the home button, reboot, and we're gonna reboot into recovery. Do not install. All right. And this is a step um, that also works on the S9, S9 Plus, so long as you use the um, file for the Torp. Now you see the encryption message is gone. We're gonna simply go ahead and install, install RMM State Bypass. This will get rid of the OEM, this will disable the OEM unlock. So you'll be able to um, flash other files or whatever you wanna do. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and finally flash Majisk which will give us full root and also ability to high root. Um, also, when there's a new version of Majisk, you'll be able to just simply reboot into Torp and reflash the new one, all right? Um, that's pretty much it. Reboot system, do not install. Um, leave your phone there for about five minutes and you should have a fully rooted Galaxy Note 8 on latest Oreo. Um, this root method may work on a future Android P, I'm not sure. Um, but if it does, I will update my written tutorial on my site. So check that if you're watching this in the future. Uh, or I'll probably just make a new, you know, fresh tutorial um, so you guys don't make mistakes. But give it about five minutes, come back, you should have a fully rooted Galaxy Note 8. All right, guys, once rebooted, let me go ahead and sign in real quick. All right, once signed in, you should see Magisk Manager. It should say installed. If you don't see it installed, try rebooting and you should see it. And you can go ahead and do a safety net check, uh, which if it passes, that means you can now successfully also hide root and run apps that check for root, such as you'll be able to use Google Pay, um, Nintendo games and whatnot. All right, um, you can verify you have full root by downloading and installing and running Titanium Backup app. And if you see this, boom, shakalaka. All right, and you have a fully rooted Galaxy Note 8. 
Pretty simple, right? Anyway, guys, that's how you root your Galaxy Note 8. Um, as far as the US models, I don't know if I'm gonna support it yet, but eventually I might, if they figure out a way to uh, install SafeStrap and a bunch of ROMs, then it'll be worth maybe doing. But for right now, if you want root, I do definitely recommend sticking with international models because they work flawless on T-Mobile and AT&T 4G LT bands here. Anyway, have a great day. And as always, stay hot on Android. Click here to subscribe.